Hey boys and girls, I'm here today with an extra craft for you to do this holiday season. Since Larry and Caesar enjoy holiday lights so much, I thought we could make a craft, craft project that has to do with holiday lights. And this is what we came up with. Isn't this a cool chalk drawing? So what we're going to do is, um, if you don't have the opportunity to come down to the library to get a craft kit, you're going to need a sheet of black construction paper. You're going to have to cut out a light bulb template. And then you're either going to need silver glitter glue or a silver marker so that you can make the wire to connect them all to. You're also going to need some cotton balls. And this is a really easy craft to make. So if you come down to the library, we have these kits put together for you that come with everything you need except for the marker or the glitter glue. And inside the bag here, you'll get a template with four lights. We gave you lots of them in case they get messy or torn or dirty. And you just need to cut them out. And then there is a piece of black construction paper and we even gave you some colored chalk to go along with it. So the first thing you need to do is take your template and like I said, cut it out. And this is the shape you're gonna get when you're all done. And you want to lay your paper horizontally and then you want to kind of figure out where you want to put your lights on your paper. And you can put as many on here as you want, as you can fit. You can put them in different designs. It doesn't have to be in a row like I did mine. It's entirely up to you. Um, we did give you six different color crayon choices. So that's kind of up to you how you want to do it. And then what we want you to do is just take your template and trace around the edges with the chalk. And you're obviously going to get some chalk onto the template and that's okay. And you want to make sure you're pressing down hard because we want to leave a nice, um, a nice dark line of chalk on the black paper. So if you need to go over a couple times, two or three times, just really, really, really get it on there good. Feel free to do that. And then carefully peel the template off and that's what you're left with. So then we'll pick a different color. Maybe we'd like to do, um, maybe we'll do an orange one next to the red. And we could do maybe a little bit down here like so. And we'll do orange around him. You wanna make sure that you keep the balls pointing in the same direction, because otherwise you're gonna have a tangled set of colored Christmas lights, which would be kind of a cute idea too. And again, we're pressing down really hard so we get a really good chalk edge. Okay, and then we're gonna go pick another color. Maybe we'll do purple this time. And we'll do him like that maybe. Or should we come back up? Uh, maybe we'll come back up. And kind of point the same direction as the red one was pointing. And just keep coming around, pressing really hard. And there's the purple. And maybe we'll do green next. And we'll put maybe green up here. And bring it around like so. And then I think maybe we'll do yellow because we need a bright yellow light for our tree. Here we go. And we'll put a yellow one down here. Maybe it'll look a little bit like we got our lights tangled up a little bit. And maybe we'll do one more. We can do a blue one. Oh, maybe we can do a blue one up here. We'll do him a little backwards-ish. You can use as many colors as you like. If you want to have all different colors, if you want to only have one or two colors, you can do that. You can make your twinky blinky Christmas lights any way you want them to look. You can even, if you have white chalk, do this with just white chalk and have a white light strand of lights also. So once you have it all chalked out like that, I'm gonna blow some of the chalk dust off. Just blow lightly so it doesn't go everywhere. And then take your cotton ball 
and you want to smear away from the chalk line. You do not want to smear the, the center of the drawing. You want to make sure you're smearing away. And you see, um, I hope the camera can pick this up, like you see how it is shining the lights away. And we're just going in the same direction. Don't rub back and forth, just do rubbing in one direction. So it's always shining away from the center of the ball that you've drawn. And then I also twist the cotton ball as I'm smearing so that um, we don't mix the colors. I kind of want to have them all separate and shining on their own. And then maybe we'll get a new cotton ball for green here. Get the green shining off. If you don't think that it's giving enough of a brushed shine, you can go over your drawing again with your um, chalk and then smear again. Like that. And then last but not least, we have the blue. And see how that all looks? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over each one one more time just to give a clear, defined line of our bulb. And so we'll draw around it again like so. And the blue one again. That just will kind of make it pop here in a little bit. And purple. And again, if you don't like the way it looks, you can always take your cotton ball and smear it back down again. It gives it just that extra little bit of shine. And the yellow. And last but not least, our red. Okay, now it's time to go ahead and draw. I might actually fix my purple here a little bit. He looks a little undefined. So we're gonna smear him and we'll do him again. Just to kind of bring his line up. There we go. Okay, so now you wanna draw the wire. On our sample drawing, we used glitter glue which is just a pre-mixture of glue and glitter that you can buy pre-made. You can also just take regular Elmer's glue and draw white glue and then pour um, silver glitter all over the paper, let it dry, and then shake the glitter off onto another sheet of paper. That will give you the same effect. If you don't want to mess with glitter though, you can also use a silver pen. And we'll go ahead and do that one on this example to give you an idea how that would look. And what you want to do first is you want to draw the little connector boxes, the, um, the bottom of the light bulbs that attach to your string. And you just want to draw a couple lines to make it look like where the screw tabs go. And put them on your lights. And they don't have to be exact. Sometimes over time the bulbs kind of twist a little bit. And one more here, and one up here, and one here. Good. So now they look like light bulbs, don't they? And all we have to do now is draw the wire to connect them. So maybe we'll start our wire up here, and we'll come down in a loop to connect and come back with a loop to suggest that they are kind of all over the place. And we're going to connect the orange to the yellow. And come back up and connect the purple. And maybe we'll have our little wire twist some more. And pick up green and then do a loop-de-loop. -loop and then come down here to pick up the yellow and come back off the page. And that makes your Christmas lights. Isn't that cute? Now, to make sure that this stays, you want to um, use hairspray, which I left right behind my camera guy. Could he hand that to me, please? Thank you. 
So it doesn't have to be any kind of brand of hairspray, just a can of aerosol spray. You don't want pump, it's gotta be aerosol. And what this will do is this will set the chalk. And you just want to very lightly spray the sheet of paper. And that sets the chalk. And it's kind of hard to see right now because it's still wet and it needs to dry. I know it smells like hairspray now. But as you can see, when it dries, you'll be able to see the smear marks again. And it just takes a little bit of time for that to dry. Already you can see over here, you can see the, the smear marks are coming off. Now when it's completely dry, you can rub your hands over it and the chalk won't come off of it. The hairspray sets the chalk. So I hope you enjoy our little craft chalk drawing today. If you want to hang this on your wall in your living room for the holiday or on your refrigerator, you can even put it in a frame and set it up every year for the holidays as a reminder of how much fun um, Christmas lights bring to our lives. So if you can't get out and see everybody's house is all lit up, you can have a little bit of Christmas fun in your house this holiday season. We hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. We'll see you later. Bye.